Uh, some of you may already know Google is pushing to get websites to make the transition from HTTP to HTTPS, uh, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. HTTPS is a protocol for secure communication over a computer network. Google may penalize websites that process confidential information such as passwords, uh, credit cards, which could hurt search engine rankings. So a simple website that has a user login portal without HTTPS uh, could potentially have an impact on search engine ranking. To make the transition over to HTTPS, you will need to install an SSL certificate onto the server where your website is hosted. An SSL certificate is a text file with encrypted data that you can install onto the server to secure or encrypt sensitive communication. Now, most websites allow you to create self-signed SSLs, but they are not trusted because they are signed by a person rather than a trusted certificate authority. Using a self-signed SSL results in a prompt that pops up before a user can enter your website. It kind of looks like this. Uh, the prompt lets the user know that the website's security certificate is not trusted. This prompt can ward away visitors. That's why it's best to get an SSL from a trusted certificate authority. Now, trusted SSLs cost money, though. Uh, you normally have to pay a yearly fee, and some can get a little pricey. Luckily for you, I am going to show you how to install a free trusted SSL from letsencrypt.org, which is a free, automated, and open certificate authority. This video is more geared towards the installation of an SSL on your own home server or dedicated servers purchased through a web host. Now we can head on over to letsencrypt.org and get started. And if you scroll down, you can check the list of hosting providers and see if you can use a trusted SSL from letsencrypt.org with your hosting provider. Since I'll be showing you how to install the SSL on your home server or dedicated server, the installation process will be different than if you were to install on a shared hosting environment. So to start this off, we can go back and we will be using shell access to install our SSL. So we can go ahead and click the cert bot link. And then here we choose the software that we are going to be using. And we are running an Nginx server. And then we are running Debian 8. Now the instructions are laid out here and they're pretty simple to follow. So we will go ahead and minimize that to make room for our SSH connection. So before we continue, you should have shell access to your server. So we can begin by following the instructions here to enable the Jesse Backports repo and then we can actually install Certbox afterwards. So to add that to our sources list, we need to add this line into our sources.list file. And then we can save the file. Control X, Y, enter. And then we need to run an update. All right, now we are getting an error that the signature cannot be verified. Uh, we can do something to fix that real quick. Now the next line we put in here, you want to replace it with the number of the key that's displayed in the error message. So we have two of them, one here and one here. So we'll go ahead and copy. And that one. And 
press enter. Now, Type that in right. So we got two dashes. All right. Now we can attempt to update again. All right. All right, and then we can continue and install CertBot. And we will continue. Alright, now we can continue by running the command below. And then you need to enter the location to where your website is located. Now I already installed a SSL, so it's asking me if I want to keep the existing one or renew it and replace it. So I'll just replace it. And it says congratulations, your certificate has been installed. And now that we have our certificate installed, it does let you know when it expires. Certificates last 90 days. Uh, so here it says that the packages on the system come with a cron job that will renew the certificates automatically. Uh, so every 90 days it will automatically renew for you. Uh, you can test the automatic renewal by using this command here. and it says that it did succeed. All right, so now we could head on over to our website and see if our certificate is installed. And as we can see, it says that it is secure and it is running HTTPS. Now keep in mind that there could be other things that need configured to ensure that your website is directed to HTTPS especially if you are installing an SSL on an existing website. Configuration options vary depending on the type of website, so I'm not going to get in too much detail with that. This here should give you a basic understanding, though, of how to set up a free SSL running Debian and Nginx. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. You can check out our website as well for more guides and tutorials.